So guys, this is a board being run off of a Commodore 64 out of uh, British Columbia, Canada. It's a relatively small uh, board, but fairly active. What you're seeing here is a 40 column mode Petski BBS being run off of 64 door terminal on an Amiga 2000, launched right off the hard drive. So this is going to the, the subs, which is kind of cute. It's actually a Petski illustration of a submarine where all of the messages live. There are a couple of new ones in here. This one's actually by me from yesterday. We'll go ahead and hop out of here. I'll go ahead and log off. And hopefully I can show you an 80 column uh, Petski capable board that's being run off a 128, uh, which is a, a, a bit larger and uh, very active, being hosted out of Arkansas, United States. Okay, so you wanna flip back over to 80 column mode. And it is important that at least in my case, I'm running 9600 baud to connect to everything, otherwise my keyboard won't work. So now I'm in 80 column mode. These numbers at the end are the ports that these addresses live on, and you're actually using the old school AT commands to connect these. Luckily it's not busy, it still can only take one call at a time. So sometimes you come in here and it is busy. And this looks almost pixel for pixel like it would if I were connecting with my Commodore 64, which I also do uh, utilizing a Jim Drew's Wi-Fi modem. This Amiga that I'm on right now is my daily driver and I'm using the fantastic Paul Rickards Wi-Fi 232, which has just been seamless. And I typically connect with it on my Amiga 1000, uh, but I wanted to demonstrate how you could actually launch 64 door right off of your hard drive, which I can't do on my 1000 because it doesn't have a hard drive. Um, and for most people, Unless you're wanting running 1.3 workbench, you have to boot it off a of floppy. But I actually run 1.3 on all of my machines with the exception of a 1200 that I have. And so that's not a problem for me. I can actually install this to a hard drive uh, at, because it utilizes some sort of mystery library or video mode in 1.3 um, in order for it to work. All right. Let's see, so I'm going to do a quick look at the messages. And I've been in here a couple of times today already, so there probably aren't that many left for me to read, but we'll take a peek. Hopefully uh, no one out there minds. This kind of feels like a private place, even though it's technically not. Way more private than Facebook, that's for sure. For that matter, Google's not crawling this. So here are some uh, quoted messages going back and forth between uh, the sysop icebreaker 
and uh, a user shot 97 who you can also find on YouTube as a retro shot 97 or shot 97 retro it's funny a lot of times I wind up taking photographs of these screens uh, if there's something in here that I want to remember later or uh, take a note of so ironically, I have my uh, phone sitting right next to these machines most of the time when I'm in here doing this stuff, which for me is almost a nightly ritual now. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and drop out of here and quit reading. Yes. I'm going to quit to main. So this is an 80 column mode. You can also use particles in 40 column mode if you want to, but you need to set that up with 64 door before you get in here and tell it 40 column mode when, when you arrive, when it asks you. So I'll log off the slow way. You can either log off quick or log off slow. Quick was added more recently. The sysop is super cool and he adds new features when people ask for them. Uh, but this is what it used to do. I'll show you guys the old fashioned way. I can tell, I can leave a message for the next person so when they log in, if they decide to log in uh, the slow way, which uh, shows you a bunch of really cool data and recent stuff that's been uploaded uh, to a Commodore 64 uh, website, they'll see a message that I've left, so I'll say, see this in a little uh, message balloon. Here's some uh, really cool BBSs out there that are still being hosted and very active. And what here's the other nice thing about this, now that it's running off the hard drive, which I could never do when I ran off the floppy, I can actually go to help and exit, and I'm back to workbench again. Pretty cool.